Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now if you're new we do movie and TV reviews, monthly wrap up tier list with the occasional random ranking and game board content. So if any of that sounds interesting to you consider hitting that subscribe button. Another month has come and passed and we are now halfway through 2022. What did I watch in the month of June? What did I think about it? We're about to get to that. Um, as always, anything that I did review within the month will be down in the description box. We're gonna start off this ranking with Jurassic World Dominion, part three of this trilogy. Of course, it's part like six of the overall kind of like franchise. And uh, we're basically bringing the OG team in with this new team here. And, um, yeah i wasn't totally here for it there was really no reason to bring the original cast back for this it's pretty much like two separate storylines that at one point they're at the end kind of merged together swords are among us they're a part of our society or whatever and we as humans have to learn how to um how to live with them i'm gonna say it was an okay movie i mean i guess i had an okay time with it it did have its moments if what's his name doesn't stop with the whole hand thing i mean i don't understand because that hand thing you know when he was doing that with the t-rexes how does that make sense how does that work i understand that that works with the raptors with like blue but just blue not all the raptors or all the dinosaurs in the world but just with blue because you trained her they don't know what this means for all they know, this means, hey, you're giving me your hand so I can chomp on it. We're going to move on to Netflix, uh, Jennifer Lopez's um, like documentary halftime, kind of leading up to, you know, her halftime performance. Entertaining enough, it's not something I would really fully recommend. I honestly didn't have anything else to watch. I was like, let's, let's check this out. But uh, if you have like a lot of things to watch, I say, unless you're like a huge Jennifer Lopez fan, you can check it out. But I thought it was also just an, uh, an okay documentary. I thought it was funny though that they showed like no A-Rod there. Well, they really didn't show I think any of her, you know, like, wait, did they show Ben Affleck? I think they may have shown a brief thing, but A-Rod, you know, because he was there during the Super Bowl. There's like no footage of that. So we're sticking with Netflix. We're moving on to Hustle, which stars Adam Sandler. And I absolutely love Adam Sandler in these like more dramatic roles because I'm kind of over him in his like silly stuff um i think he also like happy madison also was a production deal for it so i was like i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this but he does really really good it's another sport type movie about basketball he's like a recruiter um and he finds this really talented like street baller from spain i think it was and he brings him over because you know he sees greatness in him some of you are probably like well stephanie i'm not like a sports fanatic neither am i neither am i i like sport movies though oh i can see them and i get into it i'm like whoo but you try to get me to watch sports and i'm just like huh yeah goal oh swoosh touchdown but it's actually a really great film um it's uh i'm gonna put it under awesome it's very close if not maybe one of my favorites i totally just really didn't put favorite of the year i'm not sure i'm not sure how i feel about it yeah, uh, favorite of the year so far video is gonna be coming up maybe in a week or so i'm not exactly sure so this could be up there but we're moving on to prime with my fake boyfriend sarah highland does come on it lover for modern family uh dylan sprouse comes on it as well and basically they're trying to help their friend make up this fake boyfriend because he's just like so he's like in a very very toxic relationship with like this asshole actor and he's like the stunt double no not the stunt double well yeah he's like a stunt person and the other guy's just really like stringing him along it's a mess you guys of course you know we've all had those type of friends that you just want to like slap silly and be like stop in this case dylan's character is his best friend he goes all out he's really good with like techie stuff and ends up making a whole like fake boyfriend for, for him and makes like the perfect boyfriend and really like escalates things quickly and it's really cute but then it has like its cringe factors but it's like one of those like new modern age uh rom-com movies if you want something like new modern age romantic comedy movie then i recommend it otherwise i would say stay away from it like i said it has its moments 
like it's good moments but then it also has its bad moments you know just you know so i'm gonna just say it was an okay movie we're gonna go ahead and move on to hbo max which is like a reboot remake another one of the father of the bride of course i do love the one from the 90s uh the one with steve martin or in short now when i found out about this um remake reboot whatever the hell it is i was just like i don't know like how am i gonna feel about this i don't i, I don't know I and mean, i think the 90s version is also a remake. I think there's one from like the 50s or something like that. When I did find out that Andy Garcia was going to be part of the movie, I was just like, oh, okay, I'm kind of here for it. And then Gloria Stefan is also in it. And I'm like, okay, that vamps everything up. So this is kind of like the Latino version of The Father of the Bride. I was like, okay, okay, we're getting like more representation here. It was really fun. Um, I love the whole cast. Um, I really, truly enjoyed this movie. I think it was a really, really enjoyable film. Very close to great. Um, I don't know. I think it had like some issues here and there, but for the most part, I thought it was really, really great. Uh, well, great, enjoyable. <laughs> No, I'm just saying it's very close. We're moving back to Netflix Interceptor, and this does star Elsa Pat Pat Cat Pat Pat I don't know. You know, you know that this beautiful lady right here. This is basically like a terrorist movie. Yeah, it's a terrorist movie, and she is a soldier, and she is on this rig someplace. I don't remember where it's called, but basically they're like the the people that intercept with the missiles when people. When the enemy shoot a missile, they're the ones that intercept the missile. Also, I'm gonna die. She's really badass in this movie. She kicks ass. The villain here was terrible. I just, I was not here for them at all. And the storyline generally, I just wasn't here. The only thing that was good about it was the fight scene. So if you are somebody who likes fight scenes, then this would be a really good one. But the movie itself wasn't really all that great. Um, except for the fight scenes. Uh, but I'm just gonna say it was a you try type of movie. Um, it's not something I would recommend. And it's not something I would rewatch myself. Uh, but we're gonna continue on with Netflix. And this is Mr. Chris Hensworth here, which of course kind of like competing husband and wife who had the better movie. Mouse Teller also comes on this movie as well. And this movie is called Spiderhead. Oh, also, let me go ahead and tell y'all before we officially go here. In Interceptor, um, Chris has a cameo. The first time he came on, it was good. Okay, fine. But then, like, you keep coming. I, that's a spoiler, but like I said, you don't watch the movie. Uh, anywho, back over here to Spiderhead. So, here, Chris is a scientist, and he is part of this trial deal that is kind of messing with people. They have this thing on their back, and they have to agree every time to have something inject into them so they can see and feel and, like, have sex with people. But you have to make sure that you are agreeing. You consent. It's a big thing about this. You consent for this because, you know, we can get can get sued here. These were prisoners that instead of being in prison, they had the opportunity to sign up for this particular program to be in a technically in a different prison, but more carefree. There's no actual gel cell bars or anything. Like everybody has their own room. They can roam around free, uh, free within the containment of this unit. Obviously there's still prisoners. Yeah, it was a movie where Chris Hemsworth was a scientist and he was technically like the bad guy in a way, but he didn't do the best at it. It was also a You Tried movie. So they're pretty much toe in toe. If you insist on watching one, I would recommend Interceptor. So we're gonna go on to Theatrical Lightyear. Uh, of course, this is kind of like the uh, movie that, that Andy watched in the Toy Story movies, which made him fall in love with Buzz Lightyear. It was cute enough. Uh, what's his name? The cat, I can't remember his name, was definitely the best part for, for me. Honestly, like Buzz Lightyear, not the greatest person like that's not somebody that I would be like oh yeah let me love you you're kind of self-centered and not really a team player and I just I really didn't like the character of Buzz. Of course the animation is amazing Pixar always top notch with it um of course there's that whole controversy about the lesbian kiss with literally you guys literally calm down okay it is 2022 plus it's not like they're like, I'm making out. It's literally a quick little peck. And if you blink, 
you will miss it. But it is what it is. You have your beliefs and whatnot. But um, it, it, it honestly, like I said, it happened so quickly. You grew up with the movie. I think you're really going to enjoy it. I don't have my four kids section here because I feel like as an adult, for those that grew up, um, with the cartoon who love Buzz Lightyear because I know he's like a big part of a lot of people's lives I just feel like it's just overall for the whole family and I did still enjoy it the whole Zerg deal reveal I was just like really okay whatever uh, but I guess at the end of the day it was it was an enjoyable movie um I, I would rewatch it, I would, and I do recommend it again. Uh, but lastly, on here's another theatrical release, Elvis, which is the story of, you know, icon, rock and roll, Elvis. This movie does star um, Austin Butler, who does absolutely amazing. Tom Hanks also comes on this, and I have never ever disliked Tom Hanks as much as I have in this movie. I'm a little bit confused about Elvis. I'm not, I mean, I've, I've listened to some of his music, but I'm not a diehard, you know, Elvis fan um i don't know a lot of his backstory so this was kind of my introduction but from what i got and don't come at me but did he have any original music or is everything that he sung other people like did he technically steal the music because it doesn't seem like he had original stuff. Now, I'm not, I'm, I'm not trying to like backlash him or anything like that, okay? I'm really, really not. Because he was very progressive for his time. He broke a lot of barriers and opened a lot of doors and he did a lot of stuff. But at the end of the day, it was a pretty enjoyable movie. Um, it just the, the movie in general for me just was kind of like, ugh, you know, kind of like my videos all over the place. It was like they were trying to cram a lot of stuff in the movie that there was just like move 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 and there was times when i'm like dude can we just like chill for a beat in a certain timeline because i would like to hear or see more of what was happening here but then it's just like nope we're we're we're, we're gonna get in there but then it's like no 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 and uh, it felt awfully long as well and I don't know if that had a lot to do with the theatrical experience because I remember the theater was freaking hot that day. Oh, it was terribly hot. So I don't know if it being hot made it seem longer than what it was. It was one that as a whole, not really my favorite, uh, but Austin, I will give props for props is due and Austin does absolutely amazing. And I think this is one of my first talks on Mel actor like lead for the award season. So hopefully, you know, he's up there because he he really, really embodied um, Elvis Presley here. This is all the movies that I saw in the month of June, you guys. Uh, let me know down below, what did you see? Uh, do you agree, do you disagree? If you disagree, that's totally fine. Of course, we all have our own opinions on movies. That's the fun of it, right? So just let me know down below in a nice way. Don't get ugly with me or anything like that. And of course, if you haven't already, we'd really appreciate if you would uh, like this video, you know, help out the algorithm, help a girl out. Let's get more like female YouTuber movie reviewers out there that would be pretty awesome but of course if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and that is it for me today until next time see you guys at concessions bye